Hello guys. In this video we are going to upgrade this Lenovo L420 to Windows 10. You can still upgrade to Windows 10 if you are uh, using assistive technologies. I'm going to put this link in the description of the video. And uh, you need to have a valid uh, at least Windows 7 license. You basically click on upgrade now, it will download a little program, you run that uh, little program. I can close this now. It should start uh, any moment. I'm sorry about my voice, it's a little weird, but it's quite uh, late. I've worked a lot on this uh, laptop today. You can see that in another one of my videos. So, yeah, I'm a bit tired. Click up, accept. It says that it's okay to, to upgrade and it starts to download uh, Windows 10. So I'll be back uh, when it finishes. Downloading uh, completed and installing started by itself. And as far as I can remember, it will actually reboot after it finishes this step in about uh, half an hour if you don't do anything to it. And uh, when you come back, Windows 10 will be just asking for some final settings. But I will stick around uh, to try and make this as fast as possible, because again, it's quite late. Okay guys, it seems uh, Windows installed and I just need to do some uh, configurations. It took uh, a lot of time to install. Uh, but that is not because of the laptop, it's because uh, Microsoft uh, made some errors somewhere and uh, Windows 10 upgrade uh, hangs sometimes uh, and I have a completely separate video on how to, to fix that issue. So yeah, in this case I'm going to uh, adjust the settings as I want and hopefully next we are completely booted into Windows. Okay. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Avira is updating because it uh, detected that we upgraded to Windows 10. And yeah, I'm going just to uh, disable some things that I don't like, like OneDrive, uh, delete some things right around here. And uh, yeah, they should be about it. Let me just check the drivers. Hopefully the ones from uh, Windows 7 uh, remain here. Windows is activated as you can see, so no problems there. It's still moving a bit slow because as I always uh, say, about half an hour to an hour after uh, upgrading to Windows 10, your computer will still be doing uh, upgrade stuff in the background. So take that into account, you will not be able to fully use it uh, really fast after it. Okay, we have a tiny driver issue. I'm going to see if uh, restarting the computer will fix it. If not, I need to search for a driver for this and be back in a moment. And it's finished. All drivers installed. I had to uh, uh, uninstall fingerprint uh, software. It wouldn't work in Windows 10, but no issue about that for me. And uh, probably it will work with the default uh, drivers and uh, software from Windows 10. From what I know in all other uh, laptops uh, in Windows 10, there is no need for uh, other softwares for fingerprint. So, yeah, if you upgrade Windows 10 and you see Avira missing after it uh, upgraded, uh, it will come back by itself. I don't know why it does this on some uh, uh, 
computers it does it on others it appears from the start but uh, no issue you don't have to reinstall it you just have to wait it will appear so yeah that's about it windows 10 working perfectly on this laptop if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments like the video subscribe check out my other videos and see you again in the next one bye